my beautiful Tauruses. How are you doing today? Thanks for joining the Small Tarot with Lauren. Um, today's going to be a little bit different and complicated. Uh, my children. <laughs> Aren't they always? <laughs> yeah, you guys. My kids are just all over the place. I was, I was sitting there trying to get them a nap and everything. As soon as I get them down for a nap, I'm doing laundry, and then I'm sitting there, I'm getting a shower, and then I'm sitting there making something to eat, cleaning up the kitchen, and then I'm just like, okay, it's time for a reading, and then boop, they're up, okay? So, so something was just telling me that's happened to Taurus' energy today, this morning. If you guys hear noise in the background, if you're bothered by children, then you probably need to click off. I will not be offended by, at, at, by any means, okay? Necessary. Those that are parents know that our children, they have no chill, okay? So when mom is doing something, that's when they need things the most, okay? Um, this could be for your sun, moon, or rising. Um, uh, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Uh, or anywhere you have source in your chart, it may relate with you a bit. Um, feeling you guys' energy, I just feel like there's someone that's kind of pissed off. But at the same time, sad. I don't know, that's weird. Someone's pissed off and they're wishing the worst for you, but yet they're sad. It's so weird. It, it's like a weird feeling. So um, I just was like, let me just tap in really quick. So please understand, Tauruses, that this may resonate with you and it may not resonate, my loves. Please always keep that in mind, okay? Not everyone's going through the same thing. The Tauruses that I do connect with, They'll know it's their story. The ones that just, I seem like I'm a crazy batshit crazy woman. You'll be like, okay, yeah, that's not my story, okay? The bottom of the deck, we have success, okay? I know that there is no greater goal than to love. My daughter just bumped the camera. Sorry, guys. My little baby Taurus. Okay, um, I know that there is no greater goal than to love, okay? You're going to be successful, Taurus. Whatever you're worried about... I have a feeling that you've been kind of worried about something, okay? You just have a little bit of some worry on your mind. Whatever that is, it is not, it's, it's not for you to worry about. You're worrying because that's, and look, we got fear. And I read these in reverse, okay? You're coming out of a period of fear, okay? I read those in, I read, I do read these in reverse, all right? Yes, I do. Um, don't give a fuck what you think. I do, okay? Um, anywho. You're coming out of a period of fear. That's why I said worry. Like, I feel like there's some worry on your mind, okay? Yeah, honesty. You might be in fear of honesty of having to tell somebody how you truly feel. I can't always expect the truth from others, but I can expect it from myself. Being honest with yourself. Coming out of a period of fear of having to face something that for what it really is, okay? You may not want to face the facts, but, you know... Um, you might be kind of, uh, I'm going to take just half this deck today. Spirit's telling me to take half because I just can't do the whole thing. Um, you might be in fear of having to tell somebody honestly how you feel. That you probably don't want to give this another go. I felt someone's very angry but sad. Like someone's wishing the worst for you, Taurus. And I think you're in fear because you're not used to telling this person no. I get, That's what I strongly get. I get that very heavily. You're not used to saying the words no to someone, okay? Or to individuals. It doesn't just have to be to one person, okay? It could be to many people. You're not used to saying no. You're not used to standing up for yourself. You're coming out of that fear. You're starting to become honest with yourself, and you'll be honest with others around you. There is no reason, Taurus, why you should sit there and be quiet and not say anything. Closed mouths don't get fed, and that is a very true saying, okay? Okay? You sit there and you don't say something that you're not comfortable with. People will cross boundaries and they will cross them beyond measure. Beyond <laughs> Taurus, let me be around you and see somebody cross some boundaries. I'm going to speak up. I'm going to say something. Uh-uh. Nope, 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 and nope. Okay? <laughs> At the bottom of the deck, we got stalker as fuck. Okay? Mm -hmm. Somebody's stalking you. All right, Taurus? Of course they are. I told you somebody's pissed off, but yet they're sad. It's not like an angry, like they want to kill you. It's more like they're just angry because you've moved on. It feels like there's a, you're at peace about something and someone does not like that. Someone, whether you be stalker as fuck, came out again. Someone is just like in your energy that's trying to stick their ass, their nose, and their leg all up in your freaking soul, in your business. 
This person probably knows the time that you go to sleep at night, literally. They try to tap into your dream state, literally. This person's feeling so much regret, but they're not mad. They can't be mad at anybody but themselves. That's how I can feel already, Taurus, that this is a very immature energy, okay? Because it feels like to me that somebody did something and they're not used to you standing up for yourself, brat, as I said, immature. Um, they're, they're not used to you standing up for yourself. They're not used to you saying, hey, you know what? I'm just not going to take this anymore. This person, you gave ample amount of chances. They used to be able to say stuff to smooth over things like butter, Taurus, and you're just not feeling it no more. You're not going to deal with it because guess what? You learned what it is to love yourself. You don't need this person to love you when you got yourself to love, okay? You can love yourself. Someone's jealous. People are jealous. Yeah, they're jealous because you're starting to become honest. You're coming out of being fearful of being your throat chakra being closed off. I don't know why I get throat chakra being closed off very strongly here, okay? We got stalker as fuck, okay? We got the grass was not green, so unhappy. I told you, somebody's upset, Somebody's upset, but they cannot be mad at themselves because this is what they've done to themselves. So, Taurus, don't you dare go out there and start feeling that softness for somebody else. I mean, you can feel softness for other people. That's what you want to do. But this person, you need to stop doing that, Taurus, because where has it gotten you? Where exactly has it gotten you, my loves? And you know Lauren's going to tell you the truth. Lauren's going to tell you the truth. I love my Tauruses the most on my channel because you guys always view and you're always listening, and you're very patient, kind individuals. You have grounded energy, but I will not sit here and paint and sugarcoat things for you. You've got to stand up for yourself. Stop it. Don't do that. You have got to stand up for yourselves, my loves, because no one else is going to do it but you. You teach these people how to treat you. You're coming out of that fear, and you're starting to become honest with yourself and your, the people surrounding you. You have people that are jealous. Oh, well, Taurus, does not mean you silence yourself and then and water yourself down yourself down because your blessings are coming in like blessing 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 god 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 giving you giving you giving you giving you and you gotta you gotta oh i gotta tone it down i don't want to be too cocky no you're not cocky you're blessed you've been sitting in the back of the of the line for too long that's the problem you've been standing in the back too long and letting people tell you when you're going to get your plate no more of that we got brat upset mad you get what you want. Do you see what I'm saying? You're dealing with an immature. Stop it. Phoenix, can you please stop? Baby, don't don't move mommy's chair, okay? You get this person's very immature. I felt it without having to pull any cards. They're upset. A brat. I mean, come the fuck on. Taurus, who are you dealing with? Pain. This hurts so badly. They're hurt because you're getting what you want. You're getting what you want. You're getting blessed. Why would somebody be in pain for that? They're in pain because they can't use you no longer. That is their way of feeling. Excuse me. Can you stop? You're doing that on purpose. Stop doing that. No, no, baby. Mommy loves you. They're in pain because you're not allowing them to run you, run you over anymore. Do you see what I'm saying, Taurus? Stop watering yourself down. Because this person sure in the hell isn't going to do it. Deception is my addiction. This person was deceptive to you, Taurus. They were deceptive. They were bratty. You know, they thought the grass was greener and everywhere else they went. You know, third party situations. They're jealous and the, their flying monkeys are jealous as well. Underneath here, we got deep loneliness in the reverse. Okay. I normally don't read those in the reverse, but I'm going to read that card in the reverse because I felt like it needs to be in the reverse. I know, I know my baby Taurus. Hi, my baby Taurus. Yeah, you got somebody here that's just a fucking brat that can't deal with no. that can't deal with anything on their own. They always have to be they always have to be you you come and you save them, Taurus. And it's enough of that. Enough of saving a hoe. Oh, uh, you guys you guys already know how I feel about that, so I'm not gonna get into that. But Taurus, yeah. Yeah, I told you somebody here is just childish. They're just they're mad at you because you're getting the things that you want. It's like um, you being at a toy store and 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 you, and you they're like a child. You both are, ch okay, let's just say you both are children. Okay, I know you're not, you're not a child, Taurus, I know. But let's just both, let's just say for the sake that you both are children, okay? Both of you guys are in the store and this child sees you get like three or four toys, big toys. And they start crying and throwing a fit in the middle of the store because they didn't get that toy. 
this person is immature. They're in pain and it hurts so badly because they can't hurt you any longer. They cannot get to you, Taurus. You're coming out of being silent. Like I said, you being in the back of the line, getting the last of the plate, you know, always keeping yourself quiet, letting people... I, this is how I see it, Taurus. There's a line of people at a store or at any type of boutique or food, um, food store or mall store, whatever. There's a long ass line. You will let four or five people cut in front of you and not say a fucking word. No more, Taurus. You're not taking that type of treatment. No. And these people are people that are supposed to know you, that you grow up with. Indecision. Detachment. Cold. You know, decision, actually. Decisions. Somebody had a hard time making decisions and they were cold and detached from you in the beginning. But now you no longer sit there and try to beg for them to give you the attention. They're mad. They're mad and they're in such, and they're in pain. Look, cold and detached yet again. And then we have reflection, projections. They would project their cells, their bullshit onto you. Whoever this person was, they were very unhappy with themselves. They didn't like your light, Taurus. They didn't like the fact that you had light within yourself and that you were able to feel good about yourself. This person is very, they're toxic as shit. How are you going to be, this is someone that you loved so much, Taurus. You would give them the world and that's how they repay you? Again, reflection at the bottom of the deck, projections. Do you see that? They look in the mirror and they don't like what they see. So you know what? They get mad. Look at this. Look at this. They get mad. They throw hissy fits. Look at how cracked this mirror is. I don't know. I just look at detail. Look at that. They can't stand to look at their own reflection. So what do they do? They project things onto you because they don't feel good about themselves. No more of that, Taurus. We got avoidance, stalemate. We got freedom, leap. Then we got distance, retreat or time out. Then offer. Do you see this, Taurus? Do you see what I'm saying? Then we got control tactics. Do you see this? This is at the bottom of the deck. This is what you're not seeing. At the bottom of the deck is just as important as the top. This is what you're not seeing. Someone's trying to come in and bring you an offer after a timeout, after you might be a distance from this person. This person's been trying to avoid you, or you've been trying to avoid this person, Taurus, in, in fear of having to tell them and be honest with them that, look, I don't want to do this anymore. I'm not in for these games. I, I, I can't, I cannot, I cannot give myself to you completely all the way and you give me shit. I can't do it. You're avoiding this person. You guys are at a stalemate. You guys are quiet. This person's wanting to come in and start talking to you. They're stalking the shit out of you. What they're doing is learning you. That's what they're trying to do because they know something's different. Taurus normally comes running back. Taurus hasn't. Taurus is normally scared and will do what I want them to do. I throw fit and I get what I want, but Taurus is not, they're not saying anything. What's going on here? They're very, very much afraid because the grass is not green. They're on the other side. They're very unhappy. They're very unhappy there where they're at. You're in freedom, okay? While you've been avoiding this person, while you guys have been stale, haven't been talking, speaking, you're taking leaps of faith and you're doing, you get opportunities coming to you, Taurus. Like I said about the toy, this person is very immature. They are a fucking brat and they're pissing me off. So uh, that's how I know. Like, no, Taurus, no. You've been at a distance from this person. It says retreat or time out. You've been away from this individual. You've been away from them. You guys might have not been speaking. If you are communicating with this individual, it's very little to none. Okay? And they're wanting to get some emotion out of you. They're wanting to come close to you again, Taurus, the way they did before when they bit your ass the first time. Okay? Trust and believe me. When someone bites you, don't sit there. I don't care how long it's been, Taurus. Do not sit there assuming that this person has changed because time out's been here. There's been distance. Okay, this person never thought that you would be distant from them. They thought you always needed them in that you needed them in your life. Like you could not live without them. Taurus, you know what, loves? At one point, you actually believed this bullshit. You believed that this person was your air, your breather, everything. No, they were your lesson. That's why it says retreat, distance. The only way that you were able to take this leap of freedom and, and, and uh, opportunities is by distancing yourself from somebody that always makes you false offers. Do you hear what I'm saying, Taurus? Venus. This is what Taurus is in Venus, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys, you guys, you guys are love. You are love. 
You're compassionate. You're patient. You care beyond your means. And this individual is, is just wanting to come and make offers to you because they want to throw you off. Remember, the grass was not green. So unhappy. They're a brat. Deception is my addiction. Deception is my addiction. Taurus, you avoided this, this fact for a long time. You knew this person wasn't true to you and you avoided it. Avoided it for a very long time. You neglected not only this, this behavior, but yourself, your self-respect, your self-love. Spirit said, look, it's time for you to distance yourself so you can really see what's going on. Because when you're up close to something, like look, when you're up close to this, you can't really see what's going on, okay? You can't really see, just like that. Look, look how weird that looks. But when you stand back and you distance yourself, look at that, Taurus. You see exactly what's going on. Two people are apart. Time out, space. There's people that are out there that need space. They, they, they're needing their distance. Here at the back of the car, you can't really see what's going on. You're like, what the fuck is that? Okay, I see some orange. I see, but far back, you see his two fists. Water against fire, cold against fire, air against fire. Okay? You see it from a distance. You can see better. And this person's wanting to come in and make an offer. Taurus, I would not trust it. Someone's jealous of what you're doing. You might have moved on to someone else. Okay, I'm going to get a clarifier for that. What is this offer here, Spirit, for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Regards the love, the truth, expression. They want to come in and give you the truth, Taurus. Of what's really been going on, okay? This is what they want to offer is some truth to you, all right? But look, see, they still have decisions. They're still, this person's mind still isn't made up. They're, 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 their mind isn't made up. This offer coming in, this truth, expression, I don't feel, Taurus, that it's genuine. I feel they feel like it's their truth because it's going gonna, it's gonna to smooth, smooth over like butter. It's going to save them from wherever they're unhappy at. Do you hear me, Taurus? Look at this person wearing a, a face mask, okay? It's not exactly a mask that you would wear, like, for Halloween, but it is a mask, okay? You can't truly see who's underneath it, okay? But once, he, once this person rinses this bullshit off their face, then you can see exactly what it is for what it is. Truth expression, and then decisions at the bottom of the deck. And then we have twin flames. You might believe that this is your twin flame, Taurus, or this person believes that you're their twin flame suddenly because the grass was not greener, okay? Look at this, because you went through a transformation. So now all of a sudden, oh, my twin flame, I gotta make a decision between somebody else and my twin flame now. I can't, I can't, this, the grass ain't green over here. I think I want my twin flame now. No, not all twins are meant to be together. A lot of them are meant to teach each other lessons. And a lot of people run around thinking that bullshit behavior is acceptable. That's not your, that, that, that's not how twin flames should work. No one should constantly hurt you. Love should not fucking be painful. Read the Bible. It's not supposed to be painful, jealous, boostful. It's not. Okay, it's not. Let's get another one for the, uh, wait, hold on, spirit. Let's get another one for distance, retreat, and timeout, spirit, for Taurus. Let's get another one for Taurus here, spirit. Okay, thank you. Look, projection. This person's projecting things onto you because things aren't going great for the control tactics. This is why this person's bringing in this offer, Taurus. You've got some distance and you've been feeling free and better. Day by day, you've been getting better and better from being distanced from this individual. You can do it, Taurus. You can. This time out has not been hurting you. It's been helping you. And now they see that and here they want to come offer and express truth that's not truth look at the mask on the face that's not the true person they're wearing a face mask even if it's a mud mask it's still a face mask okay it's not the true person not a genuine offer control tactics they want to come right in and they want to sit here and do shit to get you to fucking get off of your path and off of what you're doing to face them to pay attention to them taurus because guess what those people out there don't give a damn about them. The whole time you're in front of their face, they could care less. This is what they like to do. They like to use control tactics to keep you around. Okay, that's why spirit gave you distance. Okay, this is clarifying distance. You needed to get away so you can see exactly what this person was doing, Taurus, because you couldn't see it when you were close up. Again, can we see what that is so close up? It just looks like somebody has some type of 
shining light coming from their nose or their mouth. But then back away, look. Now you see exactly for what it is. The distance. Past, lack, and suffering. Distance and time out was needed, Taurus, because this past person gave you and made you feel like lack. They made you feel like you were lacking something, like you weren't good enough, Taurus. You're more than good enough. You were suffering in, in, within yourself. You couldn't really tell this person. You made it seem like you had all the love to give to them and you were just draining and feeling like you were not, you were not good enough because why? Deception was their addiction. You had to deal with so much bullshit with this individual. You know, you gave them chance after chance. This again is going to clarify the distance, retreat, and time out. That's why you needed this time out. Because you were feeling lack and this person was doing using you, using control tactics with you. Okay? They're stalking you now. You're trying to avoid this person because Taurus, you... I think you both are trying to avoid each other. This person's trying to kind of avoid you, to face you, because they know they're going to have to... The things they said, the things they did, the last you guys spoke or whatever had happened, they have to face that. You're not letting it go this time, Taurus. You love yourself, okay? This person's trying to avoid all that by all costs. They don't want to face the fact that Taurus is loving themselves. Nope, they don't want to face that fact. Nope, you've had a breakthrough. And now you're coming in strong and they don't like it. We're going to pull a little bit from um, the tarot, Okay. Um, yeah, Taurus, you're dealing with a very uh, seri uh, comical character here. Very comical. They really are about themselves. Oh, you guys, my baby girl fell asleep in my on my lap. Do you? Oh my God, Taurus, I have to show you guys this. Do you see that? <laughs> Look at that. She fell asleep. Oh my goodness, grief, guys. Okay, that's baby Taurus, you guys. That's my baby Taurus. Okay, yep, that's the one that doesn't like me to get things done. Okay, without her, it's not going to happen. Okay, so let's get some tor tor tarot in. Yeah, this person's a trip. <laughs> I don't know why some... This person is stifling. They're spicy, stifling. They always got to have a game plan up their sleeve because they don't know how to be honest, Taurus. Deception... Deception is is their is their addiction. That's all they know how to do is be deceptive. What, what kind of shit is that? How am I supposed to build something with you? Seriously, how is that supposed? How am I supposed to build a life and a family with you, Taurus? Taurus, no, you're not putting up with this shit no more. Look, exactly, exactly. This person's trying to come in. They want to offer something. They clarify it as truth, expression. But you can't see this person's truth and expression with this bullshit on their face. They need to take that shit off their face for you to see the true, what's really behind the mask, okay? You've been looking at a mask long enough, Taurus. And I think your fear was for you actually seeing this person for who they are. It was a fear for you because I think sometimes your intuition would be yelling at you. This person would find ways to smooth over things and use control tactics to keep you in line. While they were out there, you know... Project, projecting onto you lack, suffering. That's what they were really feeling on the inside, but they would give it to you, Taurus. It was a burden for you. They made you carry their shit, okay? Taurus, you're good without this person. Swear to God and tell me that you're not. Tell me that you're not okay without this individual. Do you see what I'm saying? They're stalking you. The grass wasn't greener. This pain, this hurts so badly. It hurts them so badly because they effed up. Look at that. They had a gift from God and they couldn't even accept it. They couldn't sit their little, their little bat, their little bratty ass down, male or female. I don't give a damn. They couldn't sit their bratty ass down. They had to be deceptive all the fucking time, all the time, Taurus. And a lot of these times you don't even, there's times you don't even know about. Okay, and now they are jealous. Someone's jealous. People are jealous because you are no longer in deep loneliness. You're happy, Taurus. You love yourself and they don't love that. They don't like that. They don't like that. They're stalking. You know, they're upset and mad because you're getting what you want. This is a brat. This is a brat. What the? You're not nobody's. Okay, if you have kids, fine. But you're not a grown-ass person's mommy or daddy. 
And then when they decide that things aren't going well over there with the people that they decide to go over there and entertain, then they come back to you. Mommy, the carnival, daddy, mommy, the carnival ride wasn't no fun. So can, can I go hang out with you guys at McDonald's or at the Red, Red Lobster? Can I kind of be an adult for today? Until I start fucking up again. Taurus, no. This Ace of Pentacles is in the reverse. This, this, this is not happening. This person missed out on that, okay? You kept offering and offering and offering and offering and offering, showing and showing and showing. Proof, 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 proof. I'm here for you. I love you. I care. I want to nurture this. No. Every time. They avoided that, okay? They avoided it. They always thought that something was green elsewhere. If you stay in your own backyard... Okay, whoever this is for, whoever's needing this, whoever, I don't give a damn if you don't want to hear it or not. I don't care. Best believe on this channel, you need to click off if you don't like hearing my mouth. Whomever, if you water your own grass, have you noticed that you've seen people on their lawns watering their grass, picking up weeds, mowing their lawn, you know, um, trimming the edges, trimming their bushes, you know, cleaning up after themselves, making their yard look nice. Blow, air blowing, you know, the sidewalk or whatever. They're taking care of their own yard. Okay? Mr. Jefferson down the road may have a nice ass fucking house with a nice green patch of grass. But guess what? Mr. Uh, let's call him Mr. Arsenault is going to sit right here and water and do his own grass. He's going to take care of his own things here. He's going to nurture where he's at. He's not going to go over there to Mr. Jefferson's yard and stand over there and bask in it and jump around in it. And then all of a sudden start itching and getting, you know, when you, you're younger, you used to itch when you get in grass. I did all the time. It was just, ugh. I loved riding, rolling around in grass and playing. But after the words, I was itching like a motherfucker. <laughs> so he's not going to go, Mr. Arsenal's not going to go to Je Mr. Jefferson's yard and start basking in his grass, you know, because it's, it's greener. But then he gets bit and starts itching and shit. And then he starts realizing, okay, this grass isn't as beautiful as I thought it was. You know, I, there's actual consequences. Now I'm going to try to go back over here where I see that Miss Arsenault has made the grass greener. She took care of it while I was over there playing with Mr. Jefferson's yard. Do you get what I'm saying, Taurus? That's this person. That's this person. That's exactly who this person is. Yeah. Motherfucking codependent on you. Motherfucking codependent. Why? Because their ass is trying to be a player. They're trying to be a player. Now they want to come to you with this fake ass offer and this fake ass truth and pretend like they're no longer like that. The, 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 pretend like they want to stick around for, 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 for forever now. Do you see what I mean? No good, Taurus. No good. Spirit, what do we have here for our uh, lovely Tauruses? Thank you, Spirit Guys, Universe. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You're calling judgment, Taurus. You're no longer investing in something. You're no longer taking this person serious. You can't. You can't. You cannot take this person serious and actually build something that's actually um, going to be stable. You're building with someone or you're about to. Someone's coming in, Taurus, to collaborate with you. And it's not this ex person. You're going to smell them. You're going to smell their bullshit. They see you taking this leap and that you're having freedom. You have opportunities coming. And now here they come. Oh, oh, Taurus, I love you so much. This old bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. <laughs> this bullshit, this, these control tactics. That's what that is. Control over you. Okay, Taurus, I'm going to come and make this offer. I'm going to tell you the truth about everything. To take off that fucking mask, rinse your face, and then discuss with me. What do you got to say so I can see what's under there? What's that, what's that expression? What's really going on under the, underneath that, that mud mask you got on? No. You have somebody that wants to come and collaborate with you, Taurus, after someone puts you in third parties all over the damn place. And where did it lead you to? Heartbreak. You had to pick yourself up off the ground. This person was nowhere to be found while you were dealing with this, Taurus. I don't even think they understand the opportunities that you have now, what you had to go through to get there. What you had to go through to get there. They have no idea. The fear, the endless sleepless nights you stayed up, 
the, 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 the fear within yourself of being a failure with yourself, your well-being. This person was out dibbling and dabbling with other individuals. You got someone coming in that's truly going to build with you, Taurus. And guess what? It's going to be solid. It sure in the hell is after this heartbreak. And guess what? When someone sees you doing this, they're heartbroken. So here they come with their control tactics. Okay? You know, their, their, their offer. Okay? The rose. Smell the roses, Taurus, because they smell like shit. These, one, these roses smell like straight shit. Okay? And this expression, this truth. You know, you know the truth, Taurus. You know the truth. You know the truth and where it's going to lead. This person's going to be so heartbroken because you're going to be collaborating with someone else that's going to give you stability. Yeah, you're wrapping this shit up. The cycle's closing. I can't deal with this hurt and pain anymore. I can't deal with this. We got three, two threes right here alone, Taurus. Two threes. And this person wants to come in and make it seem like you betrayed them. Look at this. No. No, my lovely Tauruses. Uh-uh. No, you're not. You're not going to deal with that type of treatment. Someone out there is willing to love you and give you everything that you're giving them in return without them having to come and, and, and pull this shit. Okay? Control tactics. Making you feel less than. All right? Avoiding you when they're dealing with other people and being deceptive, okay? You know, avoiding your calls and things like that, you know? And then now suddenly someone's mad and upset because you get what you want and, 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 and they want to stalk and, 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 you know, someone's so jealous. Taurus, they're so jealous. People are jealous. You're not deep in loneliness. This person wants you to feel deep in loneliness. Why? Because, Taurus, they, they want to see you hurt. They want to see you need them. You don't need them, Taurus. You don't need them. Yeah, look, we got trying to run away from this bullshit. Toxic as fuck. Look, I can't make this shit up. Unhealthy attachments, breaking free from all the hurt and drama and pain. I watch you, but I'm unwakened. Not ready. This person is trying to come in and bring you an offer, Taurus. I told you that smells like shit. They're jealous because you're getting what you want. They're not ready to commit. They're not ready to give you what you want. But you giving someone else the love you try to give them and that person giving it to you in return is going to make this person very upset. They're going to feel like someone stabbed them in the back. Okay? Trying to run away from this bullshit. That's what you're doing, Taurus. You're trying to run, but this person's not letting go. They're toxic as fuck. Okay, their behavior, okay, their control tactics and the way they try to make you feel like you're lacking, like like you like you, you like you're lacking, lacking in a lot of different uh, places in your life. And you're not Taurus. This person's just loving to beat you down. You had to get distance from this person to take this leap of faith, have this freedom to feel like who is Taurus? Who am I? I put myself so much into this person. I let them treat me so badly. You know, I let them do whatever they wanted. Who am I? Ask yourself that, Taurus. Who am I? Who am I? What do I like? What do I love? Okay? You've been around such toxic behavior. You don't even really know. You know, I like this in the reverse, the deep loneliness. I know there's some others that came out in reverse, but this one stuck out to me. Spirit said, leave it in reverse. You're not in deep loneliness no more, Taurus. And this one was in reverse too. But guess what? Spirit told me to up unhealthy attachments, breaking free from all the hurt and drama and pain. This was like this because that's what this person wants. They want you to stay attached to and bound to them. They don't want you breaking free, Taurus. This person can't stand that. It hurts them. Why? Why does it hurt them, Taurus? Because they want to try to reverse this ending. All those knives they stabbed in your back, Taurus, they are dealing with the pain now. They're dealing with karma. And they thought they've seen the worst of karma. They have not, Taurus. Thank you, Spirit. They have not. They have not seen it, Taurus. This person's acting like they're breezy, easy, breezy, beautiful cover girl, and they're not. They're dealing with a lot. There's people around them right now that's trying to put knives in their back, and they're wanting to portray to the world that that's not what's happening. It's happening, Taurus, because they did it to you. 
okay? You can't save them from this karma. All you can do is sit there and help them rack up more because what they're coming in with is bullshit. They're coming in to continuously be deceptive. No, Taurus. No. No, no, no. Okay? Someone wants you to stay stuck here, Taurus. Someone wants you to stay stuck in this, in, 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 in this, in this pain, in this needing them. Okay? In the upright, this is an ending. Things are coming to an end. We're wrapping something up. In the reverse, no. No, no, no. You call judgment. You call judgment on this person. Okay? Whether you believe it or not, that was your fear about being honest the entire time. We got fear in the reverse and we got honesty in the upright. You cannot have everybody else be honest. You can't expect honesty from this person or people. But you can expect honesty from yourself. That is the only person you can expect to be truthful. Okay? And know that they're going to come through a thousand percent. Is you, Taurus. These people that you put your trust in, the kindness that you have, the loving patience and the, and the, and the, and the, the beauty, the, the, the true groundness, the stability. The stability is heavy here. You carry it so beautifully. Like as if it doesn't bother your back at all. This person was weighing you down. You had to get distance to see exactly how much shit you were actually dealing with. Okay, Taurus? This person wants to come in and pretend for a second chance. Judgment is here. Okay? You call judgment and so has karma. Karma's here for this individual. And they haven't seen the beginning. They haven't seen nothing yet. You call judgment. You're not going to invest anymore in this. You're not looking anymore to see, okay, when are they going to be faithful? Okay, well, let me just get a reading and find out, you know, when they're going to really connect with me and, and devote themselves to me. Deception is their addiction, Taurus. Okay? They got to get over their addiction. Okay, I'm not saying you can't get over one, but this one kind of seems like it's a little stick stuck. It's hard. All right? This person's already coming in to be deceptive yet again. They don't want to give you truth. They want to make you smell roses that are bullshit. <laughs> Taurus, sniff the fuck out of them when they come your way. Sniff them. Okay? Even take, a, even rip a piece of the rose and look what's inside. And I bet you there's mold and all kinds of shit in it. The outside looks really pretty. But underneath that's probably bugs, mold, rot. Because they didn't take care of, they're not taking care of this, this, this offer isn't the real deal. It's not legit. It isn't. So this came out in the reverse, seven of pentacles. You're no longer sitting and trying to invest and wait on somebody to love you, to care for you, to give you the, the commitment you deserve. You're an earth sign. This is your energy right here. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You don't need this shit. I'm sorry, Taurus. You could be dealing with the Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. You could be dealing with the Taurus as yourself. Um, a Virgo, a Capricorn, okay? It just <sighs> could be dealing with a Leo, okay? You've had to use a lot of strength, Taurus, within yourself that you didn't even know you had, Taurus. You became courageous and put your fingers in the mouth of that lion. These people wouldn't even come close to doing that. They're too cowardly to go through the transformation and the strength and the courage that it took for you to get through this transformation. Okay? What you're doing, Taurus, these people are jealous because they're not you. They cannot do this like you and dust themselves off and make it look like it was a walk in the motherfucking park. And I literally mean that. A breezy walk in the park. You dealt with a lot of hurt, a lot of pain behind closed doors. And this person... Just sees you standing in your glory. Look how courageous Taurus is. I mean, he he just dusted himself off. She just dusted herself off. And she and she or he is out there. They look so they're in their power. Could be dealing with a Leo. Four of Swords in the upright. Yeah, laying this to rest. Praying to your guides, your angels, spirit guides, God. While people look at these people here out there talking and mingling and gossiping and what's going on with Taurus? Why aren't we seeing Taurus much of Taurus? And well, why isn't Taurus around so we can take advantage? And oh man, Taurus is in there actually taking care of himself. Oh no, that can't happen. 
we'll, we'll wait out here for him so him or her to to rest up so we can come back again with our with our stupid offers and 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 our fake truths with our masks on okay and and our control tactics we'll we'll just give them time to heal from what we've already done you have that sword right underneath you Taurus clarity and truth you have these three of swords that you hung up because they stabbed you in the fucking heart these third party situations these people that you thought were your friends they hurt you even family i feel it's so heavy here there's even family members that helped others put these in your in in your heart and that fourth sword under there is giving you clarity your spirit guys is sitting there giving you clarity your hands are together as if you're in prayer as if you're in resting stage as if you're you're you are you are preparing yourself for what's to come greatness taurus that's what's coming and they're out there mingling and gossiping and Oh, Taurus thinks they're better. No, Taurus is blessed. Taurus is looked after. Taurus is protected. You guys have tried to put spell work and negative energy, backstabbings and third parties and making them feel less than, making them feel lack, using control tactics and making them feel like they're suffering and, and lacking in the past and, you know, avoiding the truth, giving them the truth, make, making things stale, not coming towards them and telling them exactly what you're trying to do, what your what your agenda truly is. That's what Taurus is 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 healing from. The Taurus Taurus is not sitting here um um playing. They got their clarity on you. They know. They know. Taurus females, Taurus males, you know you know. You know. You know now. You know of this bullshit. You know now. Yeah, and they're unhappy. Why? Because you know. The sun in the reverse. Look at this. Could be dealing with the Leo strongly, but look at this. Strength in the upright and the sun in the reverse. You are strength. They're unhappy, mad, sad, like we said, pain. This hurts so badly. Jealous, you know, because your strength, your courage. Taurus, you're free. This person and these people see you as, look at how courageous Taurus is. They bounce back. How? How? I thought we had it in the bag. I thought we had this person suffering. I thought our controlling was working. And I feel like there's people too, you guys. I don't know why. This person that you were dealing with, I just feel kind of a narcissism here. And they had other people that they would have try to make feel like you were just delusional. Like something was wrong with you. And they were really the problem. Now that you've gotten away, most of this person's monkeys that followed them. Why is Taurus doing so better without you? Oh, I'm, uh, 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 uh yeah, stuck. You don't know what to say. Because this is you, this is making you this is making this person unhappy that you're able to do these things without them. They they wanted you to believe that, you know, Taurus, you won't be anything without me. Um, you're gonna need me. Come in and pull in and have you obsessed, pull you in with those words, with that everything, but no fucking action. It's like somebody saying, I'm gonna go get McDonald's for you, Taurus. And you're like, cool. I think I'll take the Big Mac meal. Make it a large. Make sure it's a Sprite. This motherfucker gonna leave Taurus and go to Wendy's and go to Dairy Queen and go get them the two things they want from these two different restaurants and come back and eat their food in front of your face and you ask, where's where's my McDonald's, bruh? Like, sis, where? Oh, 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 forgot, 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 forgot. I'm gonna go in a minute, I'm gonna go in a minute. And they never go. They never go and get the food they said they were gonna get you. Do you see that? They thought of themselves, though. Themselves are satisfied. Taurus, you better wake up. Yeah. Now this person wants to come in. Remember this offer? They want to come in, okay, with this offer. They're a knight, Taurus. They're a knight. Knights don't stick around. Knights are like messengers. They're just a little bit above the, the, the page, okay? They want to come in and... 
and 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 sweep you off your feet and be romantic but it's just to get back into your good graces because they're jealous of what you're doing they want to be in your business they're unhappy where they're at see they're unhappy where they're at so while they're still dealing with this person and haven't closed this unhappiness out they're going to come off for you a cup anyways remember taurus that's what they were doing before do you remember that's what they were doing before putting you in third party situations and breaking your heart. So whomever they're with now, don't feel jealous. Don't feel jealous. This person's going to have to deal with the same cycle you dealt with with this individual because this person is not healed, Taurus. They're not healed. All right, star in reverse. They're not healed. They're not healed and you know it. You know it, Taurus. You know deep within yourself. You're coming out of that fear and being honest with yourself let me get these you're being honest with yourself okay this person is not healthy for you they're not healthy for you for your mind for your sanity for your strength for your legacy you want to build that house that wife that husband that devoted individual that when you go to a job every day and you go you go to work every day, work hard and pay those bills, Taurus, that they're there being faithful, keeping the house clean, you know, going to the grocery store, making sure the fridge is full, making sure you've eaten, had lunch, you know, send you off on your way with a cup of coffee. They're not healthy for you. They'll never be that for you. All right. They won't be that for you, Taurus, because you've given this person ample amount of chances to prove it. Unhealed and not healthy. This person, Taurus, I'm, I'm getting something. This person could even have um, an STD that you're not aware of. Okay? So if you had any type of sexual contact with this person in the recent, you need to make sure you go get yourself checked at the doctor. I don't know why something told me that. Go get go get checked out, okay? This is just my honesty to you. Go get checked out, all right? Anywho, you're being honest with yourself. This person hasn't healed, okay? And they're not healthy for you. you you're coming out of that fear. Remember, we had the fear in the reverse, okay? I do read these in the reverse. I do believe that they're, they're, there's a message in the reverse. You're coming out of this fearful place. Fear was, was fear was something you you feared being without this person. You feel lon you feared loneliness. Not anymore, Taurus. You're on, you're gonna be honest with yourself. You can't expect this motherfucker here to be honest with you, but you can be honest with yourself. You see, you smell the roses. You can smell them. You know exactly what they're doing, Taurus. Any other messages here for Taurus before we close out this reading? Yeah, they're feeling loneliness because where they're at, they're not happy. Where they're at, Taurus. Nothing is growing. Nothing's growing. They're waiting for something to come out. There's so much trying to race and, and, and be in competition with you because, again, you're getting everything you want. They're upset and mad about that. Your blessings and, and, your, and your wishes are coming into fruition. And here they are trying to figure out where's, where's, where's where, why is Taurus getting all the growth? Because you wished worse on Taurus. You tried to use Taurus. You didn't know Taurus had a team behind them. You don't even want to be this person's friend. You don't even want to have a friendship. That's what they're going to try to come and offer you. A friendship. No thank you. No thank you. No thanks. I know exactly where that friendship is going to end up. It's going to end up me being hurt. And then you're going to end up being selfish. And, and, um, and, and, not, and not sharing with me. You'll share with everybody else. But with me, you will be, you'll be pinching. You'll be pinching my pockets. That's what you'll do. And you won't share a damn thing with me. You'll be stingy as shit. That's what this person is, Taurus. Stingy. Look at this. And you're coming out of this. You're coming out of being bound to this individual. The devil in the reverse is beautiful to see, Taurus. You're coming out of that damn fear. You're coming out of it. Look at this. Fear in reverse and the devil in the reverse. Taurus. Don't nobody got you like you got you. Don't nobody got you like you got you. Don't nobody. Spirit, any other messages here for Taurus from the Oracle? Any other messages, Spirit? Oh, wow. Okay, there we go. Cycles. 
completion, change. You're not the same person, Taurus. You're not going to back down. You're coming out of that fear and being honest with yourself. Okay? And you're going to start being, you're going to see how, you're going to see how good it feels to be honest with yourself. That you'll start being honest with other people. You just crossed my boundary. I don't appreciate that. I'm feeling very uncomfortable with the way you're treating me right now. I think this needs to stop. I don't feel comfortable being, uh, going out to have drinks with you tonight. I don't want to rekindle this. You're going to start being honest and guess what, Taurus? It's going to feel good. It's going to feel good to stand up for yourself. Because why? You're giving self-love. You're creating. You're setting out intentions into the universe. Universe, I want to love myself. I want the correct people around me that want to love me as much as I love myself, as much as I can love them. Look at that heart in the sky. That's what you want, Taurus. A complete fulfillment. Self-love. Loving yourself. Loving yourself so much, Taurus, that nothing this person comes around and says or does can, can work anymore. It doesn't work. You could have been dealing with the air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. There could be air in your chart or air with this person in this individual. You could be dealing with an Aquarius, could be dealing with a Capricorn, a Leo, Leo strong here. You could be dealing with another Taurus as yourself. Um, we got air, Leo, Gem uh, uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Yeah, you're coming out of fear when this person's feeling lonely. But Taurus, that's not your, that's not your problem. Okay, you changed, you've completed something. All right. This cycle is done. Yeah. And it's done. It, it, it was done in divine timing. Taurus, it hurt like hell. It did. But this was divine time. You trusted in the universe. You trusted within your angels. You trusted yourself. And guess what? You're blessed. You're blessed. Giving yourself self-love. You know, coming out of fear. Okay. Freedom, leaping into that freedom you deserve, Taurus. Seeing things for what they are, out there grounded. Okay, well, she's not kind of grounded. She's kind of lifting herself up in the air. But Taurus, you can jump up and down in the air, okay? You're still grounded. Opportunities coming. Opportunities and doors opening. opening. After the past made you feel like you were lacking all of it. But wanted you to be suffering. Wanted to use control tactics. Taurus, you're so blessed. You're so blessed. Yeah. Yeah. Trust. This person still has third-party energy going on. They do. But now this time, Taurus, the roles are reversing. This person wants to come in and bring deception towards the person that they're dealing with now because they're unhappy with this person. They see opportunities coming your way. So here they come bringing control tactics and trying to offer you something. Okay? The truth. Their expression. You can't see that shit. They need to take this mask off. They need to rinse that mask off their face. And you know that you can be on this this person's not gonna be honest with you, but you can be honest with yourself and smell the fucking roses. You can smell what's going on here. Remember, put that self-love into yourself, Taurus. You deserve it. Come out of this toxic cycle. Come out of this being bound to the devil. You've changed. Change is here. Healing is here. Okay? Your strength is here. Your courage is here. No more investing in somebody that just does not want to give you the entire that doesn't want to give you what you're give you what you're giving them. No more shorthandedness. No more. We're done. We're done with that. We're moving on. Avoid this person at all costs. Avoid them. You already know what they're coming with. They're gonna come in with, oh, I'm in pain. You hurt me so badly, Taurus. You didn't hurt this person. Okay? Or vice versa. If a Taurus did this to you, fine. Whatever. But I'm reading for my Tauruses. This is their reading. You didn't hurt this person. You loved this person. You cared for this person. You gave them everything you could. Yeah. Here they want to come. Fast. They want to communicate so badly with you. Why? Because their fucking karma is here. To tear that ass up. Taurus, you have no control in this. Destiny. Destiny has made it. 
trust the divine had your back and you did just that. And look, look how fast this person's wanting to come in. They're, they got their ass lit on fire to come in because karma is tapping that ass, tapping that ass. And they need you to save them, Taurus. They need you to save them. They're not healed and they're not healthy for you. Could be dealing with an air sign. Don't have to be, could be. So here they come with this night bullshit, offering bullshit, okay? Trust in the divine. You came to this reading for a reason, Taurus. Trust in the divine. Yeah, look at this. I can't make this shit up if I wanted to. I can't. They want to come in so fast to you, Taurus, because the will of fortune in the reverse and the tower. This person is seeing just exactly how much they screwed over a good, loving person. Uh, most of you are earth angels and you don't even know it, Taurus. You don't even know. They screwed over the wrong one. They screwed over the wrong one. And now they're in pain. It hurts so badly. Karma will do that. It'll take good care of you. You want to dish that shit out, be prepared to get it back. Black magic. Uh, you know, wishing death upon people. Wishing the worst. Hoping that they get the worst. It's going to come right back to your doorstep. Karma does not have a specific name. It will find your address, buddy. Please believe. Please believe. That's your reading, Taurus. I love you guys so very much. This reading ended with the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse and the Tower in the upright. If this doesn't say it, Taurus, I don't know what will. I don't know what will. I don't know what else will tell you. But you guys know that I love you. You guys give me so many views. You know, and and I and I just felt today something was telling me just read for Taurus. You need to read for Taurus, and that's what I did. I listened to my spirit guides, and I'm glad I did, Taurus. I'm glad I did. No more third parties. You're gonna have somebody come in to collaborate. If you don't already have someone already, someone loves you, someone cares, and someone's showing you the very first time how valuable you are. And this is breaking someone else's heart now. See, before, they were giving you third-party energy and adding other people in, making you pretend you guys were building something stable together to only have you come out like this, Taurus. Not only in front, not only to you, but your friends and family and other people knew about the, found out about your heartbreak. It was embarrassing for you. Taurus, you're, you're, you're good. You're loved and you are taken care of by the universe. This person coming back is not healthy for you. They're not, and Spirit's trying to wake you up. They got karma here for them. And Taurus, this isn't only karma from what they've done to you. Most of it could be. But they've done, they done racked up some shit since that you've been gone or before you even came in. This person's deceitful, period. That's just them. That's just them. That's just them. And they have to learn a lesson, just like you had to. Loving yourself. I love you, Taurus. I hope you have a beautiful, beautiful, prosperous day. Please continue to like. I thank you for your support. Thank you so much for your subscriptions. I appreciate you so kindly for listening to this message. I love you. God loves you. Spirit loves you. Universe loves you. Okay, we all love you. You're not alone. All right? Have a beautiful day, my beautiful Tauruses. Be prosperous because you are prosperous and you are love. All right, guys. Bye-bye.